hi all this is sampat welcome to my youtube channel in the today video tutorial i am going to show how to create a purchase order with wbs element okay without any further ado let's get started first we need to understand what is wbs element wbs stands for work breakdown structure it is a cost object in sap it collects expenses and revenues related to sponsored projects. To create a purchase order, enter the transaction code ME21N. Now press enter key. First, we need to select the document type. Document type NB coming by default. So because of personal settings. Now enter the vendor code. My vendor code is 1000. Click on the organization data tab enter the organization data so purchasing organization is 1000 purchasing group is 001 company code is 1000 now press enter key when we are press the enter key system determines the currency automatically from vendor master now enter the material so before material we must enter the account assignment category just click here here I am going to select account assignment category Q. Double click on account assignment category. Now press tab key. I am not going to enter any item category. Press enter key. Now enter the material. My material is this one. Enter the quantity. Quantity I am going to enter 100. Delivery date system automatically determines from material master planned delivery time. Okay. This material and vendor combination don't have purchasing info record so that is the reason i'm going to enter price manually so just enter the price manually i'm going to enter 12 euro enter plant now enter storage location now press enter key when we press the enter key system expects the wbs element i'm going to enter the wbs element in account assignment tab in item details okay just i'm going to enter this wbs element okay now press enter key click on invoice tab enter the tax code so tax code i'm going to enter 1i now press enter key by clicking on taxes push button we can see the tax values now come back click on the check yes when we click on the checks release strategy tab automatically determined okay now release indicator showing blocked status so once we release all three levels it turns to automatically released status okay now i am going to save the purchase order just note down the number i am copying the purchase order number to release purchase order i am going to use transaction code me 29n enter the transaction code me 29 n individual release check the purchase order it is not my purchase order just click on the other purchasing documents now paste the copied number here click on other document who have the authorization to release this purchase order he can reject this purchase order that is also possible okay now status showing blocked okay so once I release all three level, it automatically turns to released. I'm going to release first level. Before we need to release second level, we must release the first level. Okay. Now release the second level. I'm going to release third level. Once I release the third level, release indicator turns to released. Click on right mark. Yes, it is released. Now click on save. When I click on the save, print comes automatically. See, it's coming automatically. So I don't want print. That is the reason I'm ignoring it. Now I'm going to do the goods receipt. When I do the goods receipt, stock automatically comes to particular WBS element. I will show that. Okay. Just go to the transaction code slash N M I G O. Press enter key. Here select goods receipt. Here select purchase order enter the purchase order number now press enter key now select the 
item ok checkbox click on check option now click on the post option so once we post the goods shipped we can see the stock to see the stock either we can uh, directly see from this material document screen or we can use the transaction code mmbe just click here select display press enter key by clicking on the stock overview icon we can see the stock yes now system storing the stock in particular project just double click on this stock here we can see stock is showing in a particular project this kind of scenarios usually we can see in job work or discrete industries thank you for watching if you find this video helpful don't forget like share and subscribe see you in the next video